It's show time. We are live. <laughs> I guess I should check. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I've got my mic on there. <laughs> Just, we're making sure that we're live. I always get distracted. Yeah. I think we got all the um, T's crossed and the I's dotted this time. We're live. Yay. Yeah, singing. <laughs> You're singing? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, Hi. there we go. Now we got a bunch of people there. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hello, Judy and Anita. Kathy and Pat, Rosemary, Michelle, how is it over in Ireland? Just gonna, it's all here. Well, thanks for, for coming today. We've been busy like chatting up a storm and yeah. cutting inserts for all the kits, for all the, the Christmas kits and so many. Keeping ourselves really busy this morning. So, well, thanks for joining us, Debbie and Teresa and Ellie. Gail. Gail. Thanks, everybody. Nancy. Pennsylvania. I want to go to Pennsylvania. I've been there. Was it nice? It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was really beautiful. It was the first place I ever had a Krispy Kreme donut. You can get them in Delta now. I know. But years <laughs> ago, in two, yeah. it was in um, 2001. And uh, yeah, my girlfriend and I were driving. A long time ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. ago. And we drove, we drove, um, we drove all the way from Ontario we went down through Pennsylvania and we went all the way down as far as um, we were in Maryland and Washington, D.C. We went to the White House. We went to Arlington Cemetery. Uh, so we were in Virginia. And then we drove back up and we went to uh, New York City. That was right after 9-11 mm, had happened. Yeah. So we were there right like just a couple of weeks after, um, which was horrifying. And yeah. uh, then we went to New Jersey and stayed there. And then a couple of weeks later... Right where we were was where there was a big plane crash. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it was kind of like crazy. But that was a long trip, but it was a good yeah. trip. Yeah, it was I, a really good trip. Cam and I really want to go and just do all the like little towns in the States. Yeah. We want to do like a road trip and just all the little quaint towns. Yeah, there's lots of them, especially in that mm -hmm. neck of the woods, like a little bit more east. There's a lot of really cool towns. So I've, I'd love to go back. I, haven't, I also want to go to Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, really? That's where witches were. <laughs> All right. It looks cool there. <laughs> That's where like Hocus Pocus is based out of. All right. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. <laughs> you don't know the movie Hocus Pocus? Well, I've, I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. It's not my. Not my I own. only just watched it last year for the first time because I always thought it was scary and it's not scary. Oh, Grace Pink, is terrified. Of Pink her. just did a, a big thing on it because she met Bette Midler. Pink. Whatever. We didn't get to see her. So, yes, Wendy, it was a, the uh, trip of a lifetime. It was great. Yeah, it was um, it was a really good trip. Unfortunately, you know, we had planned it with the whole 9-11 thing. That was not good. But um, we uh, we still went because we they were saying that the, the city needed support. So we went and we dumped a lot of money in <laughs> New York. It's first time I ever ate. Now, this was almost this was over 20 years ago. It was the first time I ate a $15 hamburger. Oh, wow. Yeah. My, my hamburger that I had somewhere was $15. Salem is very small. Cemeteries are cool. See, yeah, I yeah, want to like, see the cemetery. Yeah. I like cemeteries. Yeah, when we were over in Europe, um, when we went to the Czech Republic and to um, uh, po Poland, we went to a lot of cemeteries because mm -hmm. their graveyards are oh. really cool there. Have you ever been to the cemetery in Fort Langley? Mm -hmm. That's a cool cemetery. There's yeah. like really old. Yeah. We, my really dad cool. was walking by there with Grace one day and he goes, Grace, do you know what that is? She goes, yeah, that's where they put old dead grandmas and grandpas. <laughs> And he went, you're not wrong. <laughs> she goes, she looks at him and she goes, are you going to go there one day? He's like, yeah, actually I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. That child. Yeah, she's funny. <laughs> she was only like just five when she said that too. Yeah. Yeah. She's funny. It's very old grandmas and grandpas. It's a really old uh, quaint town that her, um, her parents live in. It's, a, it's lovely. They, uh, they film a lot of Hallmark movies there. So yeah. that gives you an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were actually just talking about that, Heather. Uh, I just need a party pooper and won't bring me. I would love to take her, but uh, we have, we'd have we have to, like, I don't know. We'd have to you figure it out. You wouldn't have to pay me. No, I know. The vacation, well, the trip would be paid. It, hey, it is no vacation. It is hard you know what? work. A time away from my child and my <laughs> husband and my dogs, vacation. <laughs> I would do it. I would pay you. Bring me. All right. <laughs> well, we may have to work. I've already booked my trip. I'm just trying to decide whether or not I I can have my hotel room, which is a ridiculous sum for a dump that I'm staying at. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to drive one last time because I've always driven for like 20 years. I've driven, um, but I'm not sure. 
I'm not really sure because on the drive home, I have, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of um, See, look, materials. who wants to bring me? You need to bring me. Who wants to bring you? What? A what? A Ask oh, that's family. Heather. She said, please bring her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at her. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'll be your pack mule. Yeah, that's what I need is I'll carry somebody. You around all, I'll bring the wagon. All right. We'll have to discuss. Um, let's hope that we don't lose you guys today. Our uh, internet, Wi-Fi, whatever you want to call it, has sucked. And I just Sounds rebooted. Weird but, with this too. Yeah. Is it jumping on your end? Because it's jumping on our end. It's really, um, uh, because Michelle, I don't like to stay in an Airbnb by myself. As a single woman traveling, I don't want to be staying in somebody else's house. I'm just, it's not... <laughs> That's not my idea of a good time. Side. And they're really expensive. <laughs> I found them yeah, to be more expensive up. than because during during um Tucson bead show time, everybody jacks everything through the roof. So normally the room that I'm staying in is $89. During the week of um the couple weeks of the show, it's like $340 a night for American? a dark uh Canadian. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And the, I could only find a one room um Airbnb. Um uh, and it was way out of town and I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I don't like that. So no, Wendy, we're not having a storm. It's just that I live out um, kind of in the middle of nowhere. The boonies. I live in the boondocks and we we have very limited um, access to Wi-Fi out here. We have one company and we're, um, they just installed the fiber optics uh, actually on our property up in the corner. Uh, so we're hoping that that's going to get uh, put in or go through soon. Is that what that boxes yeah it's the fiber. The site. yeah Try i know it really out. blocks our site when we're leaving which is already i have to talk to the city and say okay well that was not planned very well because now i really can't see and we're going to die pulling out of our driveway one day so i need to contact the city about it and say okay what are you guys going to do we need to stop sign in front of our house like just up on the hill there by this by the mailbox yeah it's got to slow some people down anyway um so we're hoping that uh, we have fiber optic soon and then that will hopefully alleviate some of this issue that we constantly have so yeah mm -hmm. um okay well i'm glad that uh I'm glad it's okay because it's really jumping like crazy here yeah starlink we were talking about earlier crazy. but it's very expensive here and and Unless we saw your neighbors want to go in on it but yeah you know. no and we do have the option of the um like i said the other thing the fiber optic it's going to come soon so i have to tell a funny story so if any of you were around at the very end of last week's video <laughs> Oh my God. So you know how you guys wanted to see the front of that book, which I'm never or showing or talking about the words again. It had naughty words on the front and you all wanted to see it. So we read out the less than naughty words, right? They, not, there was nothing that was bad. No. They were all like, you know, like, you know, silly. Butthead. and Yeah, like nothing bad. No real major swears or anything like that. Then we said <laughs> bye and we clicked the end stream. And so then the two of us, because we're both coneheads and we both love to laugh and we're silly and we're not afraid to have a swear word fly out of our mouth. We started reading off all of the really, I mean, and there's some the, bad like, words. I felt uncomfortable saying that. Yeah, like there's some bad ones that I would never even utter. Like they're not my, like, and when I worked in the jail, maybe the, those kind of words were thrown around, but not for me. I never would have said mm -hmm. them. Anyway, so we're peeing ourselves laughing as we're reading all these bad <laughs> words. And I went like this and I looked up, my camera was still live. And I looked and this moment of panic. And then we, at the same time, we both went, no. <laughs> so she's quickly scrambling to make sure that it had been cut off, off of our, off of my phone. Cause my iPad was still live. I was like, I it thought, was, I thought I was going to throw up. I, I was like, do we delete it? Should I just delete it? <laughs> we don't, do we need to chance this? I thought for sure. The, the 20 years I've been in business, that it was all going down the tubes. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> just being silly. So oh, now my. No one's, oh, no, there's a comment. Okay, okay. <laughs> no one's commenting. They don't think it's funny. <laughs> it was funny. It, in the worst funny. way. Now it's funny. Now it's funny. But it was horrifying. I actually feel anxious just talking about I know. About I know. I'm getting a little red. So I'm like, bad. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. You guys, the words we were saying were so bad. <laughs> yeah, Heather, we were busted. Was we were having fun and we thought, okay, well, there's nobody here, so we can have fun. Like, because we would never say any of those words live. I said them after. <laughs> we were so stressed. Would you mind turning on my fan, please? As soon as we close the door in here so that um, it, the sound isn't so bad. <laughs> I keep getting out of the frame here. 
Thanks. Uh, but then it instantly gets hot because there's like, uh, I don't know how many, like eight lights in here now. It's very hot. So, um, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. They wouldn't have allowed us back on Facebook if it uh, was live because you can't swear like that. I mean, you can say the odd little yeah, word. Yeah, no, these were not regular swears. No, these were bad swears. So <laughs> we like to have fun. So, okay. Um, what else happened? We had uh, Gracie's birthday last Wednesday night after our live. We went and did a, yeah. um, her birthday party and that was fun. We had our uh, pumpkin pie and um, she didn't even eat any. Didn't she eat any? No. No. The thing is, is the night before is Halloween. Right. So she's had so much sugar yeah. and she was tired and she really wanted to do her magic mixie. So she had like four bites and she's like, I want them. And, and all, all her grandparents were there. So she was trying to entertain and be, you know, cute and funny. And, and like, we gave her a bike and her, um, Savannah's parents gave her, what's that? A scooter? A scooter, yeah. Um, and so she like wanted to ride them in the house and <laughs> it, she was overwhelmed. And the next thing, you know, we like the pin was pulled out of the hand grenade and she, she was losing it. And we're like, okay, we're going by. <laughs> yeah. It was just too much And we for told her. everyone it was going to happen. Yeah. We already knew. I already pre-warned Rob. I said, yeah. Grace will be great until she's not. And then when she's not, we're all going to just say ciao. Yeah. And I told Cam next year she's not going to school on her birthday. Yeah. It's like, it's not fair for her to end her birthday in tears every year. Yeah. So if we can let her sleep in and maybe we'll have a movie day or like go to a matinee or something like just like a chill. Yeah. A chill day for her. Cause it's, I don't want her to end her birthday in tears cause she has ended in lot. tears every year. And it's not fair that she was yeah. born on the day after Halloween. So. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a lot for her. And she's just a little girl. So but she was having fun. She had lots of fun having, you know, she liked to open up all her presents and that was good. Yeah. So that's yeah. what happened last week. Um, oh, okay. And I actually did get a video together because I was around this weekend. So if you haven't seen, maybe you can grab that pair, sure. please. Uh, so my latest video was these, um, I called them the Alicia earrings. So if you haven't um, seen this one, I never know which way to go. Okay, you can go. <laughs> so this is the uh, Picasso and that's the metallic, um, metallic, what did I call them? Metallic matte, metallic or something. Um, it's a really fun little macrame. I'm really out of frame. Like this is, okay, I don't know so why we're, over. we're so like, I don't it know. It's, it's very smushy. around every week. Um, so this is a really fun little technique. The kid is only like, I don't know, did I, was it like $9.99 or something like that? Not super, not super expensive and everybody's loving them. So if you haven't checked that video out, please make sure that you check it out and give me a thumbs up if you watch it um, because um, my channel is tanking. I don't know what's going on. I have 105,000 subscribers and I get 2000 views. That's not even 1%. Yeah. That's barely 1%. I feel like things from what I've seen with a lot of um, online personnel people, is they're saying that everything is really switching. Yeah, it sucks, um, sucks though when you put a lot of work. People who have a lot of um, TikTok views have nothing. People who have a lot of YouTube views have nothing. And yeah. Could you go out and grab a, a five and a, and a 10, please? We forgot yeah. to grab that. You know, we got so busy. We we're putting together all of these um, crazy kits that we were doing. Uh, maybe that's what I'll tell you about right now. So, um, Last week we were talking about um, that I was going to be getting some of our supplies in and I got most of them in. So we were able to uh, recreate a lot of our Christmas uh, kits. So right now I'm going to show you the kits that we have available. So, I mean, that could change in five minutes. Uh, but we have our little Santa, that little Santa. Or So this is like the ornament one. So this is the Santa that's available. And we have the, I guess, is this just an angel? That was the angel ornament. That one is available. And then um, we did get uh, the supplies in to make the crown, the crown angel. So we've got some of those available. And then um, we have, of course, the reindeer. So we've got the, the silver reindeer earrings. Oh, that's not looking very good. There we go. So you have to go backwards. It's very, yeah. it's weird. So there's the silver reindeer earrings. And then we've got the antique bronze uh, in the reindeer earrings. So we still have some of those available. And then I have another one available that I'm going to make at the end today. And then that will be the end of our Christmas, um, our Christmas kits. So I just wanted to show you what we have available. 
And boy, you guys have gone crazy with the Christmas kits this year. So thank you. We really appreciate that. So Kristen, you can uh, order more. Forgot. Yeah, you can always um, you can always place another order. You know, I think you placed one yesterday or today or something, didn't you? Oh, no, I just refunded you for one. That's yeah. right. I think it went out already. All right. So this week, do you want to throw up the, the buy inner, please? Whoa. Your brain can't do the backwards. Yeah, mine either. Uh, neither. It, it drives me nuts. Okay, so this week we have our flat leathers on sale, 15% off. Uh, you use the code FLAT15 at the checkout. So we have, um, this is our five millimeter flat leather. Um, and these have, we have some all kinds of nice little cord ends. And um, there'll be an email going out. And um, Savannah's got some of the findings linked at the bottom. Yep. So that is the, the five millimeter. And lots of colors, not just the two that we're showing. Yeah. And then we have the... Um, the 10 millimeter. So this one is, uh, what do they call this one? This is the um, brown with the turquoise on the side, which is really cool. I love that I one. Like that, yeah. yeah, it's nice. So they're all on 15% off. I hardly ever put those ones on sale. So if you like using the flat leather, um, make sure that you take advantage of that while it's on sale. It's on sale till Sunday at uh, midnight. So um, maybe we should talk about this before the 18th. All oh, right. Yeah. Um, so we still have um, Neele from uh, silversilk.com or silversilkonline.com. We did a, um, a project using his, I don't have it with me. I should have brought it back down, um, using his silver silk uh, wrapped leather. And he still is offering 10% off site-wide for my group. Um, so if you haven't taken advantage of that, hop on over to silversilkonline.com and use code KBB10 and you'll get 10% off site-wide which is very generous of, of Nile. He is another one that doesn't do a ton of um, uh, coupon codes. So that was very nice of him to do one up for us. And he's kept that live for a month now. So it's it's valid until the 18th, which is coming up in 10 days. So um, yeah, so that's what uh, he's got for you. So thank you again, Nile. He uh, got quite a few orders and he appreciated oh, that. Really? Yeah. That's good. yeah, I asked him, I said, hey, did any of my people go over and see you? And he said, yes, thank you. It was a Nice little boost to his business. So yeah. he appreciated that. So, and I do too. I like to uh, work with other people and, you know, let's all support each other and, and help each other out. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Uh, Heather. That's good. Thank you for, for going over there. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, so we actually had a question this morning on my Kelly's beads and blab group. If you don't know what that is, it's one of our Facebook pages where you can um, show off things that you're making, where you can ask questions, where I chime in sometimes. And Diane, who's on here, uh, she's our moderator and she will, you know, pose questions and post her things and everybody posts stuff. So if you haven't joined that group, um, pop on over there and, and join the fun. Um, but somebody posted a, a comment this morning about um, large hole beads. They wanted to have large hole beads that didn't have like gigantic holes in them. And I said, well, I just happened to be showing some today. So that's one of the things that I'm going to show you because I got some new um, new beads in. And uh, so that's what I will show you today. So we'll just get this already. I didn't check to see if I was in the, <laughs> the right spot. Uh, yeah, you're here. What you mean? Yeah, I think I'm okay. All right, so we're gonna. Oh, go more. oh uh, hang on. I'm just gonna move this this thing. <laughs> Is it easier this way? Uh, that was, uh, okay, let me get this out of the way. That is the. Uh, okay, I'm gonna switch out my glasses. I have new um, <laughs> readers so that I can actually see. <laughs> I went in to get my glasses checked the other day because I said to her, "I can't see a darn thing," and she's like, "Oh, because they're made wrong." I'm like, "Oh, great." So they have to remake them again, but I have to wait to see the optometrist or something because it'll be the third time. That's silly. Um, so the other board is the large so hole. Can we not start with this one? Yeah, we can. Okay. okay so it's in order. Oh, okay. She's got them in Sorry. order. So um, we will show you the large hole beads. They're just not quite yet. Yeah. I've got a few to show first. Um, should I do the lower layout? Hold on. This now? What? Yes. <laughs> Okay, they're looks... not really working. Today. Yeah. Okay. This is like this. Something looks wrong. You go back. No. No. Wait, wait. Okay. Sorry. Um, we're not feeling particularly uh, fabulous today. No. I'm not sure. Our brains are not really firing. Yeah. At, uh, even ten percent. 
Yeah, I don't. Oh no, that's not right. No, gotta go this way. Oh, yeah. Bobby says, "Hey, oh, Kelly and Smith. Hi, hi. Uh, okay, <coughs> right there, maybe. Hi, hubby. What's hubby's name? <laughs> right, Wendy. It sucks. I I can't see anything, so it's super frustrating. All right, so I'm gonna try to make it so that you guys gonna see this one time. And because when I put it down and then put the beads over, it always goes blurry. So we're just going to play with things and see how uh, we can get this to work. So this is ABD 268 and it's a 10 millimeter melon emerald AB with a turquoise wash. So I've never carried this size. I've had the 12s, but I've never carried the 10s. So these are a beautiful um, emerald green with that turquoise blue wash. So it's got a little bit of like an AB finish on it too with a bit of like sort of gold. Let me get that out of the way there. Is that showing up okay? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they're nice and big and juicy. All these I, new colors are really nice. Yeah, I love these. They are a little more expensive. You get um, five, what do you get? Five, 10, 11, 11, or two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 beads. Um, they are more expensive. All that faceting and then the color that they add in there um, are really uh, adding to cost right now. I was just talking to one of my vendors yesterday about the cost of check loss beads. And she said, yeah, they just keep going up. Um, it is what it is, I guess, right? So I'm always willing to pay for them because I love them. So these ones are ABD 268. And I do have limited amounts of the, these larger ones. I only bought like six of each, I think. So six. some of them had 12, but most were six. Yeah. It'll say on the website how many are left. I'm feeling like I'm going to pass out. If I all of a sudden clunk. <laughs> I don't feel good today. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I haven't slept in them forever. Oh, yeah. But you know, today is just not a good day for my body. Um, ABD 267. And these are stunning. A 10 millimeter melon uh, sea green with a silver AB. Look at these. They're so pretty. Beautiful. Now, they are expensive. They're $19.99. I get that. I know they're expensive. But they're worth it because those are beautiful. Like this one here has purple on it. Yeah, it's that AB mm -hmm. on there, right? You just never know what to do with them. You can do anything with this. I mean, make a simple bracelet with it. You can do anything. Make, you know, just use one for on a pair of earrings or something like that, or use it as, you know, you can make a bigger link for in a necklace. Or I mean, you can you just gotta play around with things. And you know what? One of the things I think you always have to be willing to do is to kill some materials, you know, kill a little bit of wire or some soft flicks or whatever that you're using. You should see how and much Kelly kills. <laughs> when create. It yeah. takes a while, but it's really interesting watching your process because you're like, no, that sucks. Get rid of it. No, that sucks. Get rid of it. Yeah. But then in the end, you come up with something really nice. Thanks. I mean, I, I, I always say that you can anybody can make anything like I can hack together some jewelry in two seconds, but I'm very. I'm very much a perfectionist. When I made these um, earrings for the Monday show, Monday, you know, my Monday uh, video, they look pretty simple, right? But I had to make sure that I got just the right amount on there, that, you know, everything was sitting right. I was trying to figure out how I was going to, um, you know, finish the top. So I was like, okay, well, I've got to put two on there to kind of hide that little um, uh, knot on the top. So it took a couple, you know, um, attempts at uh, colors and you know it's not always like a, a one shot sort of thing sometimes it takes a little bit more than one time so I do burn through materials when I'm um, making things for you guys because I'm a perfectionist you know uh, these oh my gosh now this these scream Kelly uh, ABD 266 this is another 10 millimeter melon and it's an amber with an AB and gold wash and they're $17.99 look at those I absolutely love that color. Do you like brown? No. No. <laughs> no not at all. Uh, I didn't think so because you're not like, you know, drooling over it. But me? It's dark and I like hot pink. I like bright purple. I like turquoise. I like bright orange, lime green. Really? Yes, color. And I like, I like everything kind of, I don't know, like I like this. I don't even like gold, but I like the gold finish on there. I think it just adds that little I extra really something. I really like gold. Do you? Yeah. 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 Well, there you go. We're just, yeah, we can't travel together then because we're too much. You know. I mean, I could like brown very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So this is ABD 250 and these are a little bit larger. These are a 12 millimeter mel melon. Now, why are these cheaper? That is so weird. I don't know. I think, you know what it is? It's all those finishes that add to the price. This one is faceted though. 
Yeah, this is that, that's not fastened. This one's there. Oh, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Good call. Yeah. So these are, these are too. okay. That's what it is. So I didn't even notice that these actually have fastening on the ridges. These don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good eye. Cause I'm like, why are these so dang expensive? All right. That's what it is. When they add that fastening on there, it adds a lot. All right. So these ones are uh, ABD 250 and they're 12 millimeter melon turquoise with matte gold finish. They're $7.99. <laughs> And Valerie's got it. What's that? More choices if we travel together. Oh, yes. <laughs> these are really pretty. So these are 12 millimeters. So they're a little bit bigger and they're nice and juicy. I love this large size. Like, look at that as a bracelet right there. Someone wants to see your creative process. It's hard because she like darts all over the warehouse trying to find products. So she couldn't just like sit down and film it. It's I really mean, hard. You, you could find everything. No, because that wouldn't work because then you try things and you have to cut it up and toss it. It might be a three hour video. Mm -hmm. It takes a while. Yeah. Yeah. Like I very seldom I'm not um, like I know people like Candy Cooper and some people will um, create on the fly and I'm not discounting anybody's um, uh, process or, or their Jeez. finished product. But I can't I, I'm not down with that because what I find often from a lot of different people that create on the fly is that I don't like what they make because it's kind of like they're just putting stuff together where I'm very mindful and thoughtful about every single detail that goes into every piece. And I'm not kidding you when I say that, like I will not stop until it looks absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. I never put something out that I don't love. Right. Cause I'll be yeah. like, Oh, it looks okay. But Even it looks if like it doesn't match. Like if the, finishes are teeny tiny bit off she swaps them out yeah like i freak out i can't handle it so uh my creative process might be different than most people because i'm like terribly ocd and uh i like things a certain way so i don't know if it would if it would be fun or if it would be torture to watch me i think people will get bored <laughs> i think so actually they would laugh at you talking to yourself yeah because i do talk to myself a lot and it and um like savannah was saying i in this, it, it was so much easier to create. And Lori and I talk about this all the time. It was much easier to create in my store because everything was out on the floor and it was in cups and in bags and hanging from the it. wall. You could see yeah. everything where everything's in bins and boxes here. So I don't know what I've got. And I have to hop on the website and then I'm like, okay, well, I need a purple seed bead. And so I'm scrolling through the seed beads and it's really a time consuming process. And it's not fun like it used to be, but you know, I make it work. It's just, I have to remember what I have. So I love the color on this. This is ABD 251 and they're another 12 millimeter melon and they're an antique silver with a whitewash. They're $11.99. So I love that one. It doesn't look like silver to me though. No, it looks very um, pale gold. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's a real antique -y kind mm -hmm. of um, yeah. burnished kind of like, it's not a bright silver. It's very antique rustic looking. Sue worries about when you'll lose an argument with yourself. Oh, on <laughs> I do all the time. We won't be allowed to be on back on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I call myself all kinds of names when I'm creating. I'm like, you're an idiot, Kelly. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. Right, Kim? I th I always overthink everything. So, um, yeah, De Debbie, I think you have to be in the right frame of mind to crimp. Sometimes crimping, like I made something the other day for a video and I was crimping and I finally just said, screw it <laughs> because my crimps were just not working and I was getting so frustrated. I was like, okay, we're going on to a different kind of project because some <laughs> days the crimp gods aren't with us. You know, like some days it's just, you know, like some days I can crank something out doing a really complicated kind of process and other times I'm like yeah. closing a jump ring doesn't work. <laughs> All right, another one that we have that's 12 millimeter is ABD 252. And this is a beautiful sea green Picasso and they're 1050. That is really pretty. That is nice. They almost look matte. Yeah, they're really nice. Love that one. That Picasso is really showing up nicely on there. And if you're wondering what Picasso is, it's just the finish that they put on, which is my favorite because it gives it kind of a, it's not just like all one color. It gives it many dimensions, which I really like. So that one's ABD 252. And if you're new to this um, channel and you're like, okay, well, how do I buy these? Um, Savannah could just throw up the link here. And so you can see where to go and you just place an order like on, on the website. And if you've never ordered before, uh, you can get your first order at 20% off. You just have to make sure to sign up for our newsletter and we will send you a, um, a discount coupon for your first order. 
And if it doesn't arrive, just send us an email and we'll send you the actual coupon code. And if you are in the U.S., you also save another about 30 to 35 percent because our dollar stinks right now and the exchange rate is really in your favor. So a couple of little perks if you've never. This isn't. Uh, yeah, that's the. Yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that is not the same. Yeah. Right. All right. ABD 253, another 12 millimeter melon. And this is Dusty Rose with Gold Wash. And this is 1199 and look at that color another really sort of um, I really like this one. yeah it's well of course it's pink <laughs> it's uh kind of reminds me of uh like vintage it's, i was just gonna say it's very vintage looking um dusty rose was really popular back in the 80s and this would have been a color that i would have decorated my house in <laughs> i loved it but it's coming back i went and saw a supplier yesterday and um, she had all things pink with orange on it. Oh. Yeah, that's like, and it, like she likes to follow the fashion trends. Um. <laughs> well, Wendy, you're not incompetent. It's just like, you know, I know I always say that I make it look easy when I'm creating things because You've I've already been, done it before though, I've, when you show it. Yeah, I've, I've done things a million times. Um, I can, I've actually done wire wrapped loops um, with my eyes closed and I'm not, I'm not just saying that I can make a wire wrap loop look really good, even with my eyes closed. However, there are some days when I can't even hold on to a pair of pliers properly. So, <laughs> you know, we're all human. We all have our struggles. And some days you just have to take it and put it down and say, and I'm coming back to you tomorrow. All right. Have you... Do you have the right? Which one? Yeah, right this here? is ABD 265. Okay. All right. So this is a six millimeter melon. This is one of our more popular sizes, the smaller size. And this is the blue turquoise with Picasso, and they're only five seventy five. So ABD two six five, and this is a beautiful. Uh, it's kind of a weird um, description they gave it because to me it doesn't look like a blue turquoise with Picasso. It looks like it has a uh, silver wash on it. Yeah. But they didn't uh, put that in the descriptor, which was kind of strange. But I thought it was beautiful. Right, okay. Wendy? Yeah. I I had everything dusty rose and. Um, Everything was uh, th that sort of blue, that uh, cornflower blue. <laughs> so now we're moving on to the large. Hole. These are all the large hole beads coming up. So if you wouldn't, I'll just grab these. Okay, so we've got a few different kind of large hole beads now. So these are all check glass. So this is ABD 262, and this is a six millimeter large hole melon. And this is a gray AB with silver and they're only $4.99. And I think there's like 25 or something on a um, strand. So I don't know if I can get leather through uh, when I've still got them in here, but this is a two millimeter and I'm not sure. It's a two millimeter hole, but it might be that, uh, that maybe it can only go up to 1.4, but it also could be because I have, um, Looks like one. because I have it strung here, but I've got, I'm just, going to see if I can get that in there now. So it's probably at, like, you can probably, even though if it's got a um, two millimeter hole, you can probably get um, a 1.5 for sure in there. So that is a really nice thing to have large hole um, check glass because they're just so beautiful. So that is such a pretty color. Is that showing up? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's almost like an oil slick. Yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's really pretty. Uh, this is my like, Fill a pool with these and I'll swim in them. <laughs> I love them so much. All right. ABD 263 and it's a, uh, an orange. So these are six millimeter and they're orange with a with an etched metallic pink and they're $4.99. And they're so cute. And this screams Savannah. <laughs> so this is the real popular color for uh, the spring next year. This is, you're going to see a lot of this kind of color and um, most vendors I would think are going to have that. I'm just going to move that. It kind of mm -hmm. changes yeah. color. So this is a really pretty pink. Um, etched with orange, isn't that pretty? Or orange with pink, whatever they want to say. So, so know. Linda, we don't. Um, you, the exchange rate has no effect on us. Yeah, it doesn't it's cost your us bank anything. We'll adjust everything. So, it, yeah. Uh, so we thank you for buying. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, it just saves you some money. Um, I wish that I could somehow do something for my Canadian girls, but because it's uh, not me that does it, I can't do anything. It's just mm -hmm. your bank. So whatever the going rate is of the day, like sometimes the dollar's up, sometimes it's down. So. <laughs> I would do it. It makes me think of the Patch Adams movie when the little old lady swam in spaghetti. There's obviously some movies I have not seen that you've, you've never, seen. With Robin Williams? 
Or maybe a long He's time a ago. He's a doctor. How, and how do you remember stuff like that you watched 10 years ago? I remember things that have no value. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you tell me something important in one year out the other, but if you tell me what so-and-so ate for breakfast 10 years ago, I will tell you. Weirdo. And how much they ate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's married to my poor son. <laughs> All right, the next large <laughs> hole we've got is another six millimeter melon. And this is ABD 264. And it is a sea green with gold wash. And again, they're only $4.99. So that's that beautiful turquoise kind of color. Nice sort of green turquoise with a gold wash <laughs> on there. Yes, I have a font of use this. <laughs> Seriously. I, you asked, I could tell you that a whole pencil right now, if you drew it, it would go all the way around the world twice. The who what? The what? A pencil. You could draw a pencil without it running out all the way around the world twice. Really? Mm -hmm. How in the world? You have a weird brain. No, it's because there's this app that is 10,000 useless and oh. facts, and I sit and I scroll through it. Well, there you go. You never yeah. know. How many beads on these? I think there's 25, 25, 25, 25, 25 5, 10, 15. Yeah, 25 on this one. If you go into the listings on the, on the uh, page, and scroll down to the description, it will tell you how many beads are in each one. So this is a new one that I just got in, like a new as in size. It's like a mermaid. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is ABD 254. And these are an eight millimeter large hole. And this is a dusty rose and mint with gold and they're 1099. So these have a healthy two millimeter hole. So uh, definitely can get the two millimeter in there. So if you are a barrel knot person like me, you know, I love my barrel knots, you could definitely um, get two millimeter through there, which is really nice. But look at the color on those. So unique. Uh, yeah, that's what happens, Wendy. It sucks, right? So buy Canadian if you live in Canada. Yeah. Okay, now the next one, we have had these before in other colors, and everybody seemed to really love them, so we're bringing in um, more colors. So these are our, uh, this is ABD 261, and these are a 6 by 9 roller bead, and this is a sea green with Picasso finish, and they're $16.99. So these are like my, you know, the tried and true that I use all the time, the um, 6 by 9 millimeter, but they have a large hole. So this one, here I've got some... Get off of there. <laughs> I have a three millimeter leather and you can get a three millimeter leather through there. So on the roller beads, definitely you can get three millimeter through there, but you can also use a smaller leather, right? So these are ABD 261 and they're the six by nine sea green roller bead. So, oh, that's awesome, Tracy. I'm glad that my barrel knot skills came through for you. All right, another color that's really popular right now is these uh, sort of alloy orange colors. It's a rosé. Yeah, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. This is ABD 260, or 0, 6 by 9 uh, roller, and it's alloy orange with a copper lining, and they're $16.99. And again, these have the 3 millimeter hole. These have a really sort of sparkly inside with a nice little bit of a textured fleck, almost like they've taken a, a brush stroke and just kind of gone doink, doink, doink on each bead. So it's kind of kind of cool. I don't know if that shows up there, if you can see that little thing. Yeah. But love that. All right. Now, I will tell you that some of these are a little on the expensive side, and it's because of the colors and the finishes again, and right? Faceted. And the, yeah, these are faceted. So this is ABD 257, and it's a Celadon with Picasso for $18.99. And this also has what looks like a luster finish on it. So they're very shiny. Mm -hmm. Look at how shiny Sparkly. and pretty. Yeah, so pretty. And that color is just very pleasing to the eye. Love that. Mix that with some of the um, antique gray natural leather. That looks really good. I like that. All right, so that's ABD257. And for all our red lovers out there, I had to bring in some red. This is ABD256, and this is a red wine. And they're $12.99. So that's a really good red. Yes, they're a rondelle. They're a six by nine rondelle roller bead. So they, um, they're they just like the regular uh, rondelles that I use, except these ones have the large holes. So they're a little more expensive because it takes a little bit longer to drill out the holes. So this is ABD 256. And this is red wine. 
Such a great red. Love that. Mm -hmm. It's like a Christmas red to me. Yeah, the luster finish is nice, isn't it, Wendy? All right, another color that we're seeing a lot of in the market is um, sort of like gold. So this is ABD 255, and this is eight millimeter large hole yellow gold matte for $7.99. So this is back to the melons. And this one has a healthy two millimeter hole in there. And this is a beautiful yellow gold with the um, matte finish. And then it's got like a gold a gold um, finish on top of Would it. Would you too. call that gold though, the matte part? See, I think it's like mustard yellow. It's sort of a mustardy yellow. They're calling it yellow color. gold, but it looks kind of like a, a mustard yeah. kind of, you know. I it looks like that. the it looks like the color in mookite to me. Mm -hmm. Right? It's yeah. got it's that it's that really nice. It's not like I hate yellows. It's just I'm sorry if anybody loves yellow. It's I just love not, yellow. It's just not my thing at all. I like to I always say I like to eat it and smell it. I like to eat and smell yellow, like lemons and things like that. But I don't want. Like, you like to smell mustard? No, I don't know why. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to wear it, and I don't want to de decorate in it. See, I love yellow. Yeah, it's mustard my, yellow, especially. My girlfriend Stephanie is one of her favorite colors. Like that color I just showed would be one of her favorites. Yeah, crazy. Uh, ABD two five nine, another six by nine roller bead, and this is green and sky blue with a gold AB finish, and they're fourteen ninety nine. Is that funny, Becky, how we can like just really dislike a color? I don't know what it is. It's just never been, maybe because I'm brown a, for me. Well, I'm a natural red because I'm a very, um, my, oh, now it's flipping around. All right, we've got a ghost in there. Nice. Um, uh, I'm a very like pink toned redhead and it just yellow looked terrible on me. And I remember back in um, school when I took home ex, home ec kept class and it was sewing mm -hmm. and we all had to make something and I made a dress and mine was uh, mustard yellow. Why would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the beads. <laughs> These are beautiful. So pretty. Look at all the different colors in there. Love those. It's like a peacock. Yeah, Marina, they are actually very hard to come by. Um, we just had a sale on and I had to refund a couple people. Actually, I think Kirsten that's on here, she got one of the people that didn't get the bead that she ordered because I don't know where they went. The yellow was gone, which is strange because we are very careful with our inventory, but you know, sometimes it just disappears. So this is ABD 258 and they're a six by nine roller bead. And this is a mulberry with mercury finish, which is a very popular bead for us. Any of these mercury finish ones. So that looks like it's got that antique kind of silver finish on there. What is this material? This is all Czech glass. And these are uh, large hole beads. So on this one, uh, you can get the uh, three millimeter leather through it for sure. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of blunted out. Yeah. But yeah, you can definitely get three millimeter leather through there. So love the um, all these large hole Czech glass beads. Mm -hmm. Love, 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 love them. Yeah. All right, I need to have a little sip of my water. Yeah, okay, well, Kelly is getting set up. I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna do next week. Okay, you wanna click up to you? Sure. So we are, I'm going to send an email out, uh, just reminding people. Um, what you can do is, uh, after this video, you can comment at any point, or we're gonna make a thread on the Facebook page and you can comment any code that you want to see up close, and then we're going to show it on camera. Because it's it's not the same seeing things like you. I know a lot of people want to see things in person, and but we're just not able to do that. So this way, you can uh, pick out some of your favorite things that you want to get yeah, like, an eye on. Like maybe you've been on the website and you're like, oh, I like that, but the picture sucked. I can't really tell what it looks like. So. Uh, mark down that code, let us know what it is, and then we will pick that next week for the live and we will show you mm -hmm. uh, what it looks like. I mean, we may not be able to pick everything. But we'll do our best. But we'll do our best and we will um, keep a list. So if we don't get to something, hopefully we'll get to it maybe a week after or whatever. Um, if, it, if it goes well, we're hoping to do this about once a month so you can see, um, yeah. Yeah, and try to keep it on um, either this Facebook um, either on this Facebook or YouTube uh, video, or if we put a post on the web, on the um, Facebook page, 
please don't send us emails because we will get inundated and they'll we'll just, just delete up, them. Yeah, we just, it, we, it will just, it like, too much. we get hundreds of emails as it is a day, so we don't want to miss anybody's ideas. So um, if you find something that you would really like us to show up close or to speak about it a little bit, like maybe you want to know something more about it, um, just have a, have a, you know, jot it down and then uh, let us know. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try that. We want, you know, we'll like, because uh, uh, we are always talking about like staff picks. Well, how about we have uh, viewer picks? Yeah. So you guys pick some things that you would like us mm -hmm. to see. Um, do we send you a message to enroll in the newsletter? Uh, no, you just go down to the bottom of the website, uh, Tandy, and there's a little 20% uh, off uh, thing, or you might get the big pop up. Just uh, enter the information, like click on them and enter the information and you should get an email with the uh, code. Like I said, if you don't get it in a little bit, you can always send us an email uh, at customer service at kellysbeeboutique.com and we will give you what the code is. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then so uh, Savannah sends out an email uh, usually twice a week, once on Wednesdays if we're having a sale. We don't have a sale every week, but, well, most, weeks. but most weeks we have something on sale. Yeah. Um, and if there's something to tell you, something noteworthy, um, we will let you know. So, yeah. alrighty. So, uh, if you want to, one put, second before oh. you start, Heather, um, you can also comment on the YouTube video. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I can okay. still go back because as because I go and check all the um, comments on YouTube, mm -hmm. and if somebody um, leaves a comment with, uh, "Hey, would you uh, have this look at this one?" I'll just screenshot it, so then I don't even have to write it down. Yeah. So um, yes, please leave it on either or whatever is your friend. I know a lot of people. Uh, my mom got hacked yesterday. Yeah, I know. I got a friend request from someone, and I was like, "This is not." Yeah. Bonnie. It's just <laughs> constant, and her um, her best friend. Uh, got hacked and it took her almost six months to get her account back and it's so frustrating and we got our on a local page here somebody got hacked um, we have a local like community page here mm -hmm. and um, somebody got hacked and it's just annoying can people just use their powers for good and yeah. not evil no. okay all right well, so we're just going to create our our last little um, Christmas uh, earring now I have made this one before but I thought well let's make it again so I've got some 22 gauge wire. Now this will be available in kit form. Uh, so I'm just gonna be making one earring. So you'll get, we always give you a couple extra, um, or at least one extra um, head pin. And I think we're even putting one extra fire polish in just so that in case, you know, your cat you flicks one on. today. <laughs> yeah, cause I had one fly across the room. So this one has some four millimeter fire polish. It's got some um, 22 gauge head pins, a little four millimeter uh, premium crystal. It has a uh, larger, sort of about an eight by six, I think, something like that, maybe um, Chinese crystal. It's got a little eight millimeter uh, glass pearl. It's got a six millimeter uh, crystal rondelle and then an ear wire. That's so, a rondelle? This? Yeah. Yeah, they call it a rondelle. Oh. But everything's, I don't know. So many different <laughs> things are called rondelles. Who the okay. heck knows? Yeah. And I apologize if I'm not coming across very well. I'm I'm feeling really bad right now. <laughs> Hopefully this works. I'm like, whoo, I'm so woozy. I think I just need a good sleep. Do you ever just feel like you need a really good sleep? That's where I am right now. All right, so I'm going to cut that piece of wire and I'm going to kind of straighten it out. So I just put the wire in my pliers and then I just kind of run it between my fingers and it just kind of straightens a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go down about an inch and a half from the top. I'm going to use my thumb and I'm going to bend away and create a nice sharp bend in there. And then I'm going to go up on my pliers and, oh, pliers. I just placed an order for um, a bunch of tools. So hopefully we'll have those soon. All right, back to this. <laughs> uh, so you're going to go up and over and straight down. You're going to open your pliers, rotate them so they're parallel to the table. And then you're going to take this and pull it through to the back. So we just want to create a little loop of some sort like that. You know, this is my thing. I like to have nice, um, neat and tidy wrap loops. All right, so we're gonna do like a bulky wrap. So we're gonna go around a couple times and then we're gonna work our way back. And if it goes, you know, where you don't want it to, grab hold of your bent chain nose, grab the end and make it go where you want it to. Cause sometimes wire decides that it's going to do what it wants to do and not what you want it to do. So I always say, just boss it around. You're the boss when you're making jewelry, so just boss it around. So we're gonna go for that sort of bulky wrapped look and I'm going to use the flush side of my cutters and give that a little trim. 
Yeah. Paul, I sing that in my head every time we say Ryan. <laughs> every single, it drives me nuts, actually. Really? <laughs> yes, yeah, because I can't help it. It's like when I make my barrel knots and I say, do this once, twice, three times. I say three times a lady in my head. But that also <laughs> dates me because then you know I'm really old. All right. So now I'm going to put this at the bottom here and I'm going to stack on my green. And then I'm going to put my uh, little pearl on. And then I'm going to put sort of the brim of the hat. And then I'm going to put on the little pom-pom, which is the red. And there we go. So now what I want to do is I want to have my top loop going in the same direction. Are we doing okay for time? Yeah. You're good? No I want to have the two going in the same direction. So what I'm going to do is uh, make sure that I turn that so that I know which way I'm going. And I just put my thumbnail against there. And I'm just going to bend towards me. I just want to do one of those kind of things. And now I'm going to create another loop at the top. And so you'll get one big long piece of wire. And so you can either work off of the one long piece or you can, um, you can cut your wire and uh, have two pieces. But I would probably start from the, you know, long one and work your way down. Is Cam home today or is he on the road? Uh, he is going to work in a minute. Oh, okay. My son works out of town. Yeah. So he's never home. All right. So this is what we have happening so far. And now we're going to put the little feet on. So this is our little elf. So if you're looking for this kit, this is the elf kit. So I'm going to put one of our four millimeter um, uh, fire, fire polish on there. I'm just trying to figure out how I did that. Okay. So what I want to do is just bend it against my nail. I don't want to have much of a neck on there. And I'm going to make this on the small side. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of my round nose plier and go up and over and down, rotate and make the start of my loop. And then I'm just going to attach that the bottom. These ones are so cute. And I didn't even know that I had the supplies and I found them today. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to make some of those kits up because they're just so cute. And we got um, we got these smaller jump rings in, or sorry, uh, head pins in that are much easier to use. They're much finer because our other ones are very heavy very gauge. Stiff, yeah. yeah. So when I'm just doing like a bulky wrap, you don't have to, but I like that little bit of a, a bulkier look on there. Give that a little trimmy trim. And then I always like to um, tuck that little burr in. Now this is hard to hold on to because there's not much to hold on to. So use your bent chain nose pliers so you can find the end and then just kind of push that down like that without getting too close to that bead because we don't want to break it. It's, it's check glass, so it is breakable. All right, and then we're going to repeat on the, is that his left or his right foot? <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Your elf has socks. My elf has That's socks. What someone says. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it kind of looks like he has socks. All right. You can see these go together super fast. And so this is a really great kit to give somebody if they're a jewelry maker, or you can make them yourself and um, wear them or give them for a gift made up. I'm not used to working with these um, light weight um head pins holy why like what's the well they're just this? they're uh, the heavy gauge i'm so used to having to boss that all over the place but this is kind of going all over the place oh <laughs> so give that a little trim and then again i'm going to i, I don't want that little burr sticking out and it's right there because nothing is worse than having your hair get caught on that kind of stuff so i just kind of hold on to that and then now i'm going to move this stuff and I'm just going to put my, which way is the front? Which way is the back? Uh, Doesn't matter. Well, yeah, because I do my wraps into the back. Oh. Are you selling the head pins? Uh, not yet. We will. I haven't, I just got them in. So there are <laughs> little elf earrings. Aren't those cute? They're really super cute. fun. So they're like $9.99 a kit. I think those are super fun. And those are available. also add chain arms yeah you can do between anything the green and the pearl yeah you can you, you could also add like a little piece of um of like fiber that looks like a little scarf or a belt mm -hmm. or whatever you want to have or yeah. you know you can you can always do whatever you want on on things are we frozen oh we, nope. we were for a second there 
All right. So those are really cute. I thought they were just kind of fun. And um, I still have enough to make those, um, enough of the green to make those. So I want to pop us up. A dancing elf. Yeah. So there you go. Just kind of, kind of fun. Yeah. I think they're cute. Mm hmm. <laughs> they are like little dancing elves. I've had fun with the um, Christmas earrings over the years. There's been, I've had so many different kinds, but it's always dependent on what I can find. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things I'm going to do in Tucson, even though it's like almost a year in advance, but I'm going to look for different shapes and things like that so that I kind of know what I need, but they're hard to find when I'm shopping. I really want to try and make a snowman. A snowman? And like use wire and have his like little arms. Like... Well, there you go. You can. I used I mean, to do a snowman years ago. I've done so many different ones over the years, but oh, this hair, I'm trying to grow it out. <laughs> anyway, too. all right, so that's that's it. That's it with what you've got going on this week. So um, we've got our uh, sale on our uh, flat leather uh, until Sunday. It's 15% off, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just use, use the code, code flat, flat 15. 15. And uh, so there's a good opportunity to take advantage of a bit of a sale on the leather. Mm -hmm. And we've got all of our kits, all the Christmas kits have been reloaded. Um, we probably will run through the first batch pretty fast. I wanted to make sure that we kept very careful control of inventory because some things are limited. So if you went, if you go on and it's gone, because it likely will be, um, because they do sell out pretty fast. There's a little area that you can go down to, um, which is the, um, you just go down underneath where you would, where it says like add to cart and it'll say, email me when back in stock. A lot of people hopped on and bought them right away today um, when they came back in stock. Cause I put them on stock in stock about 11 o'clock. And so uh, put that down, like make sure you put your name in there and you'll get an email as soon as they um, go live again, because I will, next week once we get our bearings because we have a lot of kits to make cement and I made quite a few um, well, in between. Yeah, you know. I think I did 25 elts today and, and I did 42 like, Santas. Oh, did you? Uh, they're not finished yet, but they're getting there. Yeah, because there are a lot of work for us to put together and I did a bunch of the um, crown angels. So, and then I did a bunch of these, I think too. Or did you do I that? Did those. You did those. Yeah. yeah, so we've got quite a few um, things made up. But I like to make sure that we don't oversell because I don't want anybody to be disappointed. I'm like, why can't I see? Well, because I have my readers on. Well, they're not readers. I say that every week. They are um, computer glasses. But now I can actually see what I'm doing. So, all right. So thank you again for joining us. Um, Monday is a holiday here. Uh, I know it is in some places in the U.S. I think, what is it, Veterans Day on Monday in, in the U.S.? Here, it's, we call it Remembrance Day. Mm -hmm. So we will be having the days off or the day off. So if you place an order over the weekend or on Monday, they won't go until Tuesday. Just uh, have a heads up on that. And we only have one day of shipping tomorrow. So we try to get everything done that we can on our last day because we take Fridays off too. Um, and then we will be back on Wednesday. And yeah. next, next week. So make sure that you, if you're, there's some things on the website, like our pictures of our head pins look terrible because we haven't had yeah. a chance to remake them. So if you want to see them up and close, you know, mm -hmm. let's put down the, what you want to see. And we will make sure to um, pull that for next week so that we've got something a little different for you. Before we sign off, uh, we, you get uh, one set of earrings per kit and they are under the kit drop down. It'll be under the Christmas section what's that this lady's asking where she can get the kit and how many pairs of earrings yeah it just makes enough for one uh the crown angel is uh, it's it's still there i just put i just put it up unless somebody's bought them all we'll just check it here um okay. let's see if it's christmas kits yeah it's loading oh yeah because we're not on uh, it's not on there oh that's weird okay uh, we will put we will make that live they might it's probably yeah. hidden um, so we will, we'll make that live. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I yeah. apologize for that. That's strange. That is very strange. Actually, if you just go to kits and Christmas kits and I'll show you how to do it after we get okay. off the live. So, <laughs> all right. So thanks everybody for joining us. We always appreciate it. And, uh, we'll see you back here next week. Yeah. All right. So have a good week. Have uh, a happy time creating. All right. Bye, -bye. Bye everybody.